Hello, welcome to Digital Scrapbooks and More Helpful Hints video tutorials. Today in this video tutorial we're going to talk about unzipping digital scrapbooking supplies and tutorials. Now this is a companion video and it's part two. Uh, the first video that we have on our website is about downloading um, digital scrapbooking supplies and tutorials and putting them on your computer. So we're assuming you've already seen that tutorial and that you have your supplies in a zip file on your computer now and now you're trying to find out how to unzip them. So if you haven't seen the other tutorial please check it out on our website and if you're all ready to go and have the file on your computer let's find out how to unzip a digital scrapbooking supply kit or a tutorial. Okay let's get started. At this point, we've downloaded our zip file and we need to navigate and find it. In our last tutorial, we mentioned in putting it in my documents and I'm on, working on a PC that has an um, XP operating system. So I happen to have an icon on my desktop that I could just double click right here and it goes straight into my document folders and then I could find the folder that I had saved it to. But if you don't happen to have an icon on your desktop, you could go to the Start menu and go to My Documents and right click and push the Open button. It'll, bring, it'll open up your My Documents and you can click on the folder that you saved it to. Now, you might have saved it to a different folder with a different name, so it's important for you wherever you downloaded your file to navigate to that folder now. And once you get to the folder that you downloaded your zip file, there's two ways that you can tell that this is a compressed file. The first one is there's a little zipper on the, um, on the folder. And the second way is it has an extension ZIP. Now, not everybody's computer is turned on to show the extensions. In scrapbooking, it's a great idea to have the extensions showed on, turned on so that you can see the different kinds of file types that you have. Um, that's for another tutorial. Please look um, on our website for that tutorial about uh, turning on file extensions if you want to have your file extensions showing. But even if they don't, that you can tell that this is the, the zip file, particularly by the little zipper. Now, um, it's very easy to uh, uncompress this file. If you're new to downloading and unzipping, you might say, well, why can't I just use the, uh, the file right now? Um, Think of it like this way, uh, to get it over the internet to make it a smaller size, they've kind of just all smashed it or compressed it together. And once we've gotten it on our computer, we need to uncompress, unzip the file, and kind of puff it up again so that we can use it. So you can just move your mouse over until it selects the file and it, at that point it might show you what's in the folder. Then right click it, if you're on XP in a PC, and scroll to where you can come to where it says extract all and a little wizard will appear here's the little wizard and you just push the next button you don't have to scroll or browse to where the file is because we already selected it so it knows where it is so you just hit the next button and it takes a few minutes for the uh, folder to become extracted so just be patient depending on how big the folder is it'll, it'll depend on how long it takes once it's done, you can push the finish button and it'll take you right to the, the um, file that was um, unzipped. And you can just click on it and there it is. We can see that our papers and so we did everything correctly. So we're all ready right now to um, load these into Photoshop or Photoshop Elements or some other graphic program and start digitally scrapbooking. And again, if you bought tutorials or if you have other supplies or if you have free things, um, downloading and unzipping them are basically the same way. And then once they're unzipped, you can even start using them for digital scrapbooking. Thank you. Well, thank you for watching our tutorial today. If you're interested in more of our tutorials, please check out our website. We have a selection of free tutorials in our free area and we also have many other tutorials in our scrap shop so please check us out at digitalscrapbooksandmore.com